Okay. So, one morning, Mr. Fork decided to take a leisurely stroll through town. Taking a stroll, I'm a utensil. Taking a stroll, cause I'm a utensil. Hmm. Stream seems kind of, you know, quiet today. Just then, he heard a terrible noise. Super Fork! Super Fork! We need Super Fork! Super Fork! The world is in danger! Wow, who's saying that? Me. Hi, little chicken. Mr. Mr. Fork, we need to know where Super Fork is. Otherwise, the world will will be gone forever! Ah! Hmm. Super Fork, huh? Just then, Mr. Fork made the incredible transformation into... Super Fork! Do -do 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 hey, little chicken, get back here. It's, it's, it's Super Fork! I knew you'd come, Super Fork! Okay, Super Fork, R listen, we need your help. Dr. Spoon is planning to take over the whole universe, Super Fork. The whole universe! I've got to find out where Dr. Spoon is. Thank you, Super Fork. You're my hero. I never thought I'd be a hero to a chicken. So, Super Fork went home to see if there are any reports on the news about Dr. Spoon. Okay, better turn on the TV. Oh, <gasps> forget about the news. I love this show. Oh yeah, this is my favorite show ever. I'm gonna watch this show all day. Forget about the news. <sighs> Meanwhile, in Dr. Spoon's evil lair, Ha ha ha! I have gathered together three vicious henchmen, which will help me to defeat Super Fork so I can take over the whole universe. Wa ha ha! They are Tiger! Wolf! And Bear! Can we mind? Can we mind? No, you can't read my poker face. Bear. Huh? Oh. Grrr! And they're gonna help me to defeat Super Fork, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> what will happen to Super Fork? Find out in part two. Where's the voice coming from?